Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see that the game is still so misogynistic because I just heard about this um, comedy festival that my dear friend 50 is having, like right now. And I haven't seen the paperwork. I don't know. But from what I have heard, there's not a I was on, I, people I know were on planes flying to where it's taking place. And there were several comedians on the plane, but not one female comic. Not one. Wow, guys. Hey, man, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. Um, something that's ripping through the waves right now. Lou Hill is she she clapping at 50 about he, what he done over the last. It was last week. Well, I hollered at my boy Bubba Dub. He was down there, man. Great show. Shout out to Bubba Dub. Shout out to Gilly Wallow. All them boys was down there. Um, I didn't. I just didn't go. A lot of people asked me was I coming. I had stuff set up to be there, and I decided I wasn't gonna come. Um, but I heard it was people walking everywhere. As you know, that's close to my hometown. So I really, really, I know Bubba Dub down there holding it down. It was more of a fit for him anyway, because that's his, you know, 50 been, you know, rocking with him. He called me excited when him and 50 first linked up together. I thought it was dope to see them even, you know, rocking together after me and several interviews with me and Bubba Dub talking about him and link, him linking with uh, uh, Mayweather. And so the grind don't stop, the hustle don't quit. You know, now he get to link with 50. You know, he's done things with everybody, man, uh, Bubba Dub have. So I love seeing him down there rocking. With it was an open opportunity for him. I didn't even think about there was no women there because I don't, we don't, I didn't look at it that way. I get it if they felt some type of way about it. If somebody, if Lunel did, because I, I hadn't heard nobody else complaining about it. But as you know, 50 was not fit to let her just, you know, get away with saying whatever. So 50 had a lot to say. 50 responded to that. He was not trying to hear it. And so you got to ask yourself, man, like, you know, why every time there's something going on, is there imbalance or why do we make it out of a woman and a man thing? Man, we all trying to get it. And like I said, you really don't see this, but nothing but in the brothers do. The blacks and the blacks, they do this every time. Our people have to always go in on each other about different subjects that don't really matter, man. Thank God that 50 even got to show off that he did his thing down there. Gillian Wallow was down there. It was a lot of people down there. It was a lot of different uh, celebrities down there. Uh, I seen my boy, uh, the baby, buy some chicken at one of my people spot down there, give it to a guy. I was happy about that. Just to see uh, some action come down the street port was a thing. But to make it something negative, I hated to see this even come off like this because it's not a negative thing, man, when you see people coming together trying to do something for a cause, man. And I think this was something that 50 did for the city of Shreveport. Shreveport really deserved this, you know. And I just really, it tripped me out because like I said, I didn't see this coming with no negativity with Lunell and them. But one thing I can say is a lot of people wasn't talking about it. And I think the reason being is because... A lot of time, man, the demographics, again, 50's doing this stuff down here in the South. He down here. Shaq done moved down here. It's a lot of them. Drake, all of them moved down here. And you see that they're doing their thing, right? They're doing things uh, that basically is setting them apart, buying big houses and land down We got a lot of land, a lot of houses down here. So I get it. And so with that being said... You know, I could see 50 keep putting it putting it down. Him and Tyler Perry been hooking up. You know, Tyler Perry got the place down there in Atlanta. So it doesn't surprise me that 50 is putting this thing together in Shreveport. Because Shreveport, when you think about it, is an open opportunity for market. When you look at that whole demographic down there, you look at how the casinos are sitting there. You got all them casinos down there. I always be down there. Margaritaville. My daddy, he, man, lived and died by horseshoe down there. And it's just a few places. That, that old, uh, the older Sam Town, the first one was Harris down there, which they changed the name of it. Now you got El Dorado over there as well. And, you know, you got a lot of casinos down there. So you don't just go to Streetport. Now you get to gamble down there. It's like a baby Las Vegas around that thing. So, you know, to see them down there doing their thing, Man, I was so proud of it. So I want to thank 50 Cent for even doing something down there that's somewhere that's near and dear to me. You got the Cooper Road down there. You know what I'm saying? You got the, you know, Yancey Quarter down there. You got 
uh, the bottoms down there, man. You got a lot of stuff. In Louisiana, it's right there. Like I said, it ain't far from the crib. So I'm 20 minutes away from there. So I'm down on that Texas side. But believe me, Shreveport is, is, is near and dear to me. That's why I used to buy my shoes, go to the mall, all that good stuff. So to see 50 down there, it's a good look. And then Bebe was down there. Like everybody was down there. So I was happy to see these guys doing their thing down there, man. But 50 clapped back because he wasn't going to just let her, you know, say something and him not say nothing back. So in his post, he said, 50 Cent made it clear that he respects Lunell's work. Referencing the collaboration on Power Book 2, Ghost, he added a playful yet pointed comment saying, we saw her big ass was booked already, so we didn't reach out. He also mentioned that he had indeed considered other high-profile female comedians like Monique Simone and Amy Schumer, but implied that they're be, they're, they were busy on their schedules as well, preventing them from participating. Ending with, they are all fire, what the f So, I just, or, or what the F, I, you know, I, whatever, you know, but at the end of the day, I just know that 50, 50 is, he gives a lot of people work. Lunell, you know that. So I don't know why, but then I get it. I understand everybody makes everything. It ain't her fault. It got to be a woman against a man, man against a woman, especially a black man and a black woman. They keep doing it. They, we, we, got, we got all this stuff going on where we want to keep everything in balance because the devil know that a divided house can't stand. And that's tearing our, our families up. That's tearing our people up. We got to stop playing that game, man, where we got women, men going against each other. I hate it. I really do, especially blacks because I'm black and then because I see that it hurts our family and we don't know how to stop. So it starts off being a little small, something like this, but it's spearing into the families, you know, separating, divide and conquer. That's the name of the game. So I want to see everybody. And I know, like I said, you see all them people you hire when it comes to power and ghosts and all this stuff. So stop it, you know, and I don't think Lunell meant it in a way, but I think of it on a different scale. Nobody trying to keep the women out. You can't keep them. They running the game right now. So I don't understand what that's about, man. Just show love, man. Be happy that he did the event. And all you niggas, y'all know how I am on here. All you people that's on the East and West Coast, man, you know 50 from New York, man. Show some love, man. Put it in the media up there. Quit. Don't hate on it now. Don't quit hating the South. PMC said quit hating the South. So if you see an event going on down here and you see these guys doing something, I know it ain't in your demographic, but don't hate on it. Shout out to the baby for showing up. Shout out to Gillian Wallow for showing up. Y'all know y'all always talking about everything else. Joe Button, where you at with your comments? You ain't said nothing. Why? That's all I'm saying, man. We got to stop doing that, bro. And y'all part of us, too. Y'all want to always keep it so trying to isolate it to something that you guys can leverage off of. But you can't just show no natural love for an event, you know. Shout out to the Breakfast Club. For sure, you know, I know Charlemagne ain't whole. He better be talking about it because he know already, man, a lot of this. Stuff, and DJ Envy loved 50, so I'm pretty sure he said something about it. But at the end of the day, because he loved, he's a New York to his heart. And like I'm a Texas dude to my heart, so I, I respect it. I don't have no problem with nobody representing their hood and their demographic. But, man, when it comes down to who we are and how this legacy going to be laid out, believe me, South, the South is here. And we ain't going to just not say something about the stuff that we doing in these Democrats. I shout out to 50, like I said, giving a lot of people opportunity, like Bubba Dub, who's straight up from East Texas, is giving a lot of opportunity for people that, that's getting to come in and work. I'm pretty sure a lot of people from Louisiana felt that and was able to get some jobs, able to build some money, some wealth in these different businesses. You got a lot of black-owned businesses down there. You got brothers down there owning chicken spots. You got brothers down there owning different things, car lots, different little, little pop, mom and pop shops like I run in Dallas. So man, show some love, man. Hey, man, Lunell, stop it, man. You know already that boy ain't got it. He don't mind working with you, and you said that. And I ain't gonna lie, I kind of like it because at least somebody now talk about it. And 50, don't let them talk without giving them them comments and those remarks back. I thank you for it, bro. Shout out to 50 Cent. Keep doing your thing in Shreveport, man. I'm a big 50 fan, hands down. Boss Talk 101, 50 Cent. Let's get it, man. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me.